Hello, hello. This is Brother West. This is Brother West. This is Prophet West coming to you. And um, I have a word. I have a word. And my apologies for my attire. But there are times when there are times I don't even have my, my proper gear um, to be able to record, to hold a stand with. But I'm holding it. But I want to get this message out. And there are times when there are certain things that God speaks to me. If I release it right now, the effectiveness and the power that he spoke it to me in is released. And then sometimes I wait. It's not the same. It's not the same. Um, but but at this moment right now, I'm actually, uh, that's why I'm on. I want to release this word to you. I want to release this word to you. And uh, as I was as I was meditating, as I was meditating, I saw these handcuffs. These handcuffs. And these handcuffs, and I saw these arms uh, out, and the hands, hand, hands, hands are cuffed. But now the feet of this individual, you could walk. You can go wherever, anywhere you wanted to go, in any direction you wanted to go in. But once it comes to doing things with your hands, your hands are tied. And it's like you're trying, to, you, you, it's like so much stuff you can do, but you can't do it because there's something that's cuffing your hands together and, and you're bound. And uh, let me explain what the handcuffs are. The handcuffs are doubt. The handcuffs are fear. And, and in some cases, this is what I want to say. There are some, there's, there, there are some married couples that there's some person, there's some individual, you want to get back. You want to get back with your spouse. You want to get back with her. You want to get back with him. But you're handcuffed because of the fear of failure or the fear of being hurt again. And so because the fear of being hurt again is speaking so loud to you, you're afraid. You won't do it. You don't want to do it. Because you ask the question in your mind, well, what if it happens again? You know, if I if I open my heart up this time, what if it happens again? Well, my question is, it had it happened. Why kill something or not do something that ain't happened? At least try. Try. You know, I mean, if if, if it's worth having, it's worth taking a risk for does that make sense and so god want to release you from them handcuffs men are you bound in those handcuffs the handcuffs of fear of the past of the handcuffs of even of your own emotions you are handcuffed by your own emotions anxiety and and, and it's, it's like the enemy can control you so much with your anxiety all they got to do is just touch you all they got to do is just, just talk to your nerves a little bit and you just go off and, 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 it's, and, and it's a dangerous place because when a person is so emotional, you can't think. When a person is so emotional, it's almost like blowing a top. It's like blowing your top when you just explode. And, and, and when a person is emotional, there's nothing logical you can listen to. And so and this is what the said wants you to do. He wants you to explode at the, very, at the very same time that God is speaking strategic blessings to you, strategic answers to you. Yeah. See, you're handcuffed. You handcuff yourself, your mind, because you're afraid. And you need to release that. You need to rebook that and let that fear go. Let that fear go because it's tormenting you. That fear is handcuffing you from your blessing. It's hand handcuffing you from your wealth. It's handcuffing you from your deliverance. Even your own mood and your feeling, you feel justified. You feel right. You don't want to even change your mind. You just feel justified. You ain't want to listen to the other person. You, you just got your mind made up. You're stubborn. See, that's your handcuff. Stubbornness. You yourself, you, you, the Bible says stubbornness as, is as out, adultery. You, you're stubborn. You're, you're worshiping yourself. You're stubborn. That's your handcuff. And so, I'm done. The word is, let go of those handcuffs. God want to break those handcuffs. Let them go. God want to free you. God want to free you, but you got to let go of the past. You got to let go of it. Because if you don't let go of it, why be together? If you ain't going to let go of it, why be together? Why waste your time? Why? Why are you going through all these emotions? You don't care. You care. That's why you're going through all of this. It takes two people. It takes two people. And so let those handcuffs go. And, and that is basically just trusting. <laughs> I know you want to trust. <laughs> I understand. Woo. But you got to. If you, if you love enough, you got to trust enough. And if God is saying trust, then God knows what he's talking about. God know you're talking about. And I know you've been praying for God to work on her heart. You've been praying God work on his heart. But at the same time, God is working on their heart. God is working on your heart. 
And so just continue to say, God, work on my heart. And when you continue to say to God, work on my heart, he'll work on your heart. And he'll take care of them too. And so, but it starts with you. It starts with your investment. What are you going to invest in? Are you going to invest in love? Are you going to invest in that blessing? Are you going to invest in your deliverance? Are you going to invest in having a pr proper tool to unlock your handcuffs? You know what those tools are? You know what that tool is? Faith. Faith unlocks your handcuffs. That's all you need about saying faith is the substance of things so forth. Substance. That means that it'll unlock it as a key. It'll get it. It'll get it. It'll get it. So God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.